Welcome to Reason in Brief. This video is for those of you who uh, prefer to do pattern-based sequencing of your drums but would actually like to use the Kong Drum Designer in Reason. So this is a pretty simple thing actually. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to hit F6 and maximize the rack. Let's bring in a Kong and let's go back to instruments and bring in the re-drum. So they both begin with their default patches. And with what we're going to do here, if you'd like to layer your drums, then you can go ahead and leave the sounds in the redrum and the Kong. Or you can initialize and reset the redrum and have no sounds and just use it as a trigger. Actually, and that's what we're going to do just because I'm only showing you how to trigger the pads using the redrum. But just know that you can load your own sounds in here and have sounds in here, and they will both use them both if you'd like to layer your drums. So uh, what I'm going to do, though, is reset the device so we have no sounds coming out of here. we still got our Kong default kit. I'm going to flip the rack around. And if you take note here on the back, here we have the, the re-drum. I'll tap back in the front again. So for each of these 1 through 10 channels, we've got a representation in the back with gate out. And for each of the 16 pads, we have gate out and gate in. Um, so what you would simply need to do is take the gate out from each channel of the red drum a redrum and route it to the gate in of the Kong. Okay, so the redrum only has 10 different channels, and we've got 16 drum channels or pads on the Kong. So if you would like to take advantage of all 16 pads on Kong, you would then need to create another redrum and then uh, use another six channels down below and route those additionally. But just we're doing a quick example of how we get this done, so I'm not going to go through that. But that's essentially it. Uh, you, If we click play, you can see we are now triggering the pads with redrum. And it doesn't have to be routed sequentially as I did. You can put... Uh, 1 to 10 if you'd like or 1 to 16 these can go anywhere and you don't have to add the extra six channels if you don't like if you only need the first eight and you would prefer to just use MIDI notes for the top eight that's fine as well so there you are you can now use uh, pattern sequencing to work with Kong